This is a quick overview on how to change the rear brake pads and rotors on a Tesla. Here we have a 2018 uh, Model 3 and the procedure is pretty simple for the rear brake pads and rotor. Uh, first you want to uh, raise the vehicle and also make sure to support it with jack stands. You don't want to rely just on the jack. Uh, and also you want to go ahead and uh, put blocks to prevent the other wheels from, from rolling back and forth because the next thing that you will need to do is release the parking brakes and put it on service position so that you'll be able to push these brake pads. So once you do that, open the hood and open the brake reservoir cap is to allow the, the brake fluid to return. Uh, now before uh, you take off this um, caliper, of course you could use a uh, brake caliper spreader but if you don't have one what you can do is you can come here between the rotor and the brake pad and then push the pad out with a screwdriver put pressure on that that will push that will pull this caliper out as the rear brake the piston gets pushed in and then the brake fluid uh, gets returned to the reservoir so that you want to do that uh, and create a big gap here because the new pads are not gonna, going to fit unless you push that piston all the way in but if, if you do have a, a spreader or a C-clamp, you can put a C-clamp uh, once you remove this caliper and that will allow you to um, push that brake piston uh, in. Now here we have the um, parking brake. You can simply disconnect it. You'll have to pull on this uh, red clip right here and then that will allow you to press here and pull that out. But uh, you have a 13 millimeter bolt right here and you have another one right back here. Now if you're replacing the rotor at the same time, then what you'll do is you'll come back here. You see this bolt right here? You have another one at the bottom. These bolts require female Torx socket and you need to remove this 10 millimeter bolt right there. You gotta remove this ring. Spray some penetrating oil here and around there. And then you'll be able to remove the rotor. Now the rotor might refuse to come off at first, but once you remove this, uh, caliper here and the mount you'll have room to uh, hit that rotor there on the back and just uh, get that loose be careful with this uh, shield the dust shield on the back uh, if you do bend that you'll notice that uh, once you put everything back together you start driving you're gonna start hearing a metal grinding noise so you'll have to uh, remove the wheel and inspect that this shield make sure it's not touching on the rotor it's pretty close there uh, so you be be aware of that but besides that once you put everything back together here uh, pump the brakes a couple of times before you start driving and you should be good to go make sure to follow our step-by-step -step guide thank you for watching